Today, this, is, this has been a, a good experience to uh, see how the rack works. It's more than I expected. So our complete team has been involved with the Kendall Morgan team, the Watco team, as well as the engineering team to make sure that all the components will come together and make sure they're gonna work efficiently uh, for the operators. This crew by rail movement is something that's really new that's been only around for about three years. Uh, typically crude oil was transported by either a pipeline or a barge. In the Bakken oil field in North Dakota is really where the crude oil by rail has started. So SafeRack was uh, fortunate enough to be building the first system up there. As we continue to build systems up in North Dakota, now we need to build unload systems all across the U.S. It's uh, engineering, procurement, and construction. So whenever we go in, it's not just about providing the rack and the gangways. We try to work with the client to do as much or as little as they want us to do. We actually try to exceed the customer's expectations. We've used our proprietary technology to model this in the design, make sure everything's going to work before we actually start cutting the first piece of steel. Oh, the engineering is the, really the hardest part, trying to make sure everything's going to work up front, uh, understand the client's needs, understand the restrictions, the guidelines we get from the railroad, from their downstream customer. This particular project was all outsourced, so we have engineers that's uh, strategically placed all over, the, all over the United States. SafeRack worked with these guys. Uh, once we get all those parameters established, then we can go out, start designing our system, and also procuring uh, the materials we're going to need. There was a constant communication between SafeRack and these folks to make sure that what they're designing for the remainder of the project matched up with SafeRack, and that's why we had the product we have out here. The rack itself, uh, we got the continuous walkway where we have on the face of our platform, we put tracking gangways. This gives the gangways horizontal movement. Uh, there's no rail car really the same, so we have to be able to move our gangways horizontally so that the operator can safely access the top. That way, when they bring the rail in, you don't have to have the car in one certain spot. You can move it to try and make sure that it comes down where it needs to come down at. Basically, we just completed phase 1A, as we call it out here. We're going to we're starting on phase 2. As you can see in the background, the continuous line, it'll run. When we're all finished, there's going to be about 2,700 foot of platform on this job. When we get this finished, we'll be able to unload 70 rail cars at a time for the crude oil. To successfully put together a crude by rail terminal, of course, uh, it's not just you know speed to market with the new terminal, but it's also making sure that your terminal has the ability to quickly turn cars because rail car utilization, the cost of rail cars and how quickly you can turn them through a rack is a critical economic component of these deals. One of the things that's really impressed us about Safe Rack is their their alignment with the project. Uh, we've uh, been impressed with Safe Rack's. Uh, attendance, uh, weekly production calls to understand the complexities of the project that aren't necessarily related to their deliverable, but in some regard, you know, it, it impacts the overall project. After we are done and we start walking the project with operations, they said, oops, by the way, we need a walkway right here to access this valve, or we need this right here to go over this berm. And the, beautiful, the, the good thing about SafeRack system is they're able to go out on site, physically look on the stuff in the field. They can measure it right there, put it on paper with our iPad, give me a bill of material, give me a price on the spot, take out the middleman, and we can have the stuff turn, turn around quickly. The number one concern we have is safety. And in addition to that, we really wanted to consider the idea of speed. This facility will be unique in its ability to handle more barrels than any other facility in the Gulf region. So the safe rack design really allows us to assure safety and accomplish the speed that we promised to our customers. We strive for perfection. We like to know that when we commit to a customer that it will be on time, they can meet their start date, so we can actually do that. Design a system that's gonna be safe, that their operators really like running. We wanna make sure that when they see it, they say, yeah, this is the safe rack. <laughs>